Uh, you know, it's it's great when you can win ugly. It's we, we struggled offensively uh, most of the first half. Um, thankfully, able to get it going a little bit. You know, in the third and late, made some big plays. But um, we knew going in that this team was going to be difficult. They've shown it time and time again. You watch them; they they compete at the highest level. Uh, and they keep coming. Uh, I give I give them credit. Jamal, his staff, those guys are, they they really play hard. So. You know, even when the shots aren't going, they, they continue to guard and do a lot of those little things to keep them in games. Uh, so I, I, I give our guys credit. We didn't play our best basketball in the first half, and we were able to kind of get ourselves together and uh, play better in the second half. But, uh, you know, we didn't quit on it. You know, there were some lulls and there were some struggles, but we kept playing. Your thoughts about Kyle? Yeah, Kyle, Kyle made some huge plays. You know, it, uh, he rebounded the ball exceptionally well tonight. Um, of course, we know he can make shots. He's made big shots for us all season. Um, you know, he's, he's staying in attack mode, which is great. You know, I think, you know, the, the, the balance of, you know, taking care of it, making the right play versus staying aggressive. Um, you know, there, there's sometimes he, he does a little too much. But, you know, when, it, when it's winning time, you know, I, I got to give him credit. He's not afraid of the moment. He steps up and. Uh, makes play after play. Uh, you know, quite a bit. You know, you, you see him in, in one in one role, and I think his role has expanded here, um, and it's been it's been good for us. Uh, his ability to play make, he, he's been rebounding at a high level, um, and I want to see him get back to defending. You know, at a high level early on, it was very impressive. And I know he can do that, but um, he's playing with a little bit more freedom maybe than he's had in past seasons, and it's uh, it's shown. What situations are you seeing? No, I think at times in, in transition, you know, it, and it's not like he's you know, trying to turn. No one's trying to turn the ball over. It's just you know, um, you know, making those reads and the quick decisions. Um, but I, I like the, the way he's playing downhill. It's uh, it's been good for him. I think that was the biggest, you know, piece of it where, you know, everyone had to kind of expand their role. And we had short numbers, uh, playing more minutes. Um, we, we didn't have a point guard for a stretch. So, you know, kind of playing dual roles, you know, point forward, as was Denny, you know, um, and Brad obviously taking over his, at, at some point guard duties. Uh, so I think that kind of opened the, the box a little bit and gave him opportunity that he didn't have before. Um, so we're just, you know, as we get guys back, I don't want him to think, um, you know, he doesn't have those opportunities. You just make sure we're, we're smart with our decisions and take care of it. And when you have those chances to get downhill, go for it. I thought he did great. Uh, honestly, um, you know, we were a little concerned about the, the, the length of his stretch, but, you know, I think he finished with 14 or 15 minutes, which was right about where we wanted to be. Um, uh, he was aggressive. Um, I think he gives you that physicality that, you know, we lack at times. Um, his size, his ability to play off the bounce. Uh, he missed, you know, a couple open shots I think, you know, he'll make. But they were great looks for him. Uh, so I'm excited to see how this unfolds. And how, how do you think you go about getting the point where I think you Yeah, it'll be, uh, you know, it's going to be a process, you know, no matter how we do it. Um, just trying to show film, you know, get him more acclimated at the uh, at the four spot. And I know tonight we were downsized again, you know, with no Trez. So uh, Kyle was more the five on offense. He was more the four. And then we're flipping roles on defense. So, um, you know, it's not always clean. But, you know, spatially, I thought he did a great, great job. Um, it's just going to take time. We'll have to keep it simple for a while and get him up to speed. Yeah, I thought he did great. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, – He's going to guard quite a few people. We had him switching a lot. I thought he did a terrific job keeping those smalls in front. Um, and that's the versatility that I like. He gives you that, you know, physicality up front if you need it. He gives you the ability to downsize and uh, and switch one through five. Well, I think, you know, we've seen him, I've seen him, you know, from afar. So to say I know exactly how he fits this new roster, um, I'd be lying to you. You know, I have some ideas and I think, it, you know, may help him, but I think it's going to take on a life of its own, as did this group through the first month and a half of the season. 
trying to figure out how to use guys and, and, and where they want to be, where the, what spots they want to be in, where to get their shots um, and how to use them within the things that we have on top of what can we add to augment that, you know, with their ability. So I think it is going to take a, take a bit of time, but I don't want to throw too much at them right now. I think it's just keep it simple. Um, try to get really good at what we have and then go from there. Chase. Hey, Wes, uh, just what were your thoughts on the play that uh, Beal made there at the end, especially given how some of these games have ended for you lately? Uh, you, you're talking about the, uh, you know, driving the block. Kicks. Oh, the block. I mean, that's, yeah. that's a tremendous play. I mean, he did a great job of staying connected. We, we knew that the, the play had kind of been broken. And just his uh, athleticism to, to make a play on the ball at that point is, is huge. And when it comes to bench scoring, uh, obviously – Terrence Ross uh, made up much of its night, but, you know, it was an issue the other night in Chicago. As, as you start to get deeper just by getting players back, kind of how do you hope that your second unit starts to come together? I think it will. I mean, we've seen our second unit win us some games early in the season. So I'm not overly concerned about, you know, this this dry spell here. Um, you know, as we get more and more bodies back, you know, I think um, th that second unit gets a little, a little deeper. So... I think we'll have uh, plenty of plenty of scoring and uh, ability, you know, to to hold water with that second group. I don't I don't think it's a concern right now. Neil, hey, coach, with you know Rui back and you know going to get additional minutes in the future at the forward position between him, Davis, Kyle, Denny. How do you see minutes being doled out there? Denny had a you know Stephen Lowe twelve minutes tonight. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think, you know, we look at it and we'll have to narrow it down. You can't, like I said, you can't play 12 guys. Um, you know, the challenge is for, for guys who aren't necessarily in that rotation that night to stay ready because um, you never know uh, whether it's fouls or, you know, matchups or things just aren't going well. You need to inject another body. Um, you know, I trust those guys to be ready and respond. Um, it's not always going to be the same group every night. And I think we have to kind of pare it down so that that, that group can get a rhythm. But uh, the game takes on a life of its own. You have to read the game and, and see who uh, who can help you in that moment. And I think I asked you at the beginning of the season, you know, what your ideal rotation is. I think you said nine or ten. Now when you get Rui back, you have TV back. Is that still kind of what you're looking at? Yeah. No, I think that's, uh, um, you know, that's, that's an ideal number. Um, I think you have to kind of kick guys in and get them, a, a, you know, a look to keep them locked in. And uh, at times and with all these guys coming back from COVID, you know, see where they are. So it's, it's not always, you know, clean in, uh, you know, nine, you know, hard nine. But I think uh, as we get into the, you know, midpoint of the season and beyond that, that nine man rotation, nine and a half is kind of where I want to be. Thanks coach. Safe travels back. Thank you. Wayne. Hey coach, that first half uh, probably wasn't too happy with, but the second half um, you guys outscored them. What was the difference? I just thought our, uh, we were moving the ball, shared it a little better. Um, we played with a little more thrust and pace. Um, it really wasn't anything different that we ran. Um, obviously made shots late, which which was terrific. But uh, just the energy that we came out with, I thought was a good sign. And lastly, Coach, uh, this Orlando team, really young, but they get out and run. What makes it difficult sometimes uh, just facing a team like this? Oh, uh, well, just how hard they play. Um I think at times you take teams that uh, are struggling for granted, and this is this is a very dangerous team if you do that. And they, you look at the you know game last night in Detroit, um, and they they find a way to stay in the game and compete, and obviously make or miss at the end of the game, but they're there, and I, I have to give their staff a lot of credit for that. Those guys are bought in; they're playing hard. Um, so it's it's good to always come away with a win in these situations, but you certainly can't take anyone for granted. And last coach, sorry if you were asked this, couldn't hear it. But uh, for Kyle to, to get hit the boards for 22 rebounds, uh, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, well, we needed him. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, at, at that time, you know, he played a lot of five tonight. So um, that, that comes with it. But he's done that all season. You know, obviously not at that at that rate, but he's been uh, on the glass uh, for us, which are, uh, those are big plays. You know, we've talked about, you know, the defense lacking. Well, you have to finish your defense with a rebound. And he's done a tremendous job of, um, you know, chasing them down and going to get it in traffic. Uh, so I got to give him a lot of credit for that.
Thank you, Coach. Safe travels. Appreciate it. All right, Coach. I think that's it. Appreciate your time. Before I go, just a quick happy birthday to Chris Miller. You know him? (laughs) Sadly, I do. Thanks, Coach. All right. Take care. Hey, it was great. You know, um, I've been, you know, I've been doing a, you know, I've been waiting for this moment. You know, I was, uh, I had to take a little, you know, time off, but, you know, um, I'm so happy back on the court and play with these guys. You know, I missed it. I missed the feeling and everything. And uh, it was great. How, you obviously had a ton of new teammates to kind of get used to. How has it been getting used to their style, learning how? Yeah, it's been great. You know, they've been they've been really supportive. You know, um, I I love you know I love these guys, the players, the coaches, and stuff, all the stuff. You know, I love them. You know, um, they've been really helpful, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been great. Came into a new coach as well. How has Wes been for you to work with? Good. Yeah, I've been I've been talking to him. You know, like uh, basketball side. You know, um, a lot of you know, offensively, defensively, we talk a lot of stuff. You know, and. I've mean, I've watched a lot of film, you know. Um, it's been great, yeah. He's a, I like him, yeah. yeah. What kind of challenge is it for you to get up to speed with a new coach, a new system, new teammates? The thing is, like, I was, you know, I was around with the team, so you know, I was with the team and the practice and stuff. So, um, and then I watch all the games. So, you know, it's it's great. You know, um, we have like a couple of new guys too, and then you know. Um, it's easier for me to like, you know, be be around with these guys and just be on the same same time, be, be on the court at the same time, and yeah, it's it's good. You know, yeah, it's you know, it's I I really missed it. I know I really missed the feeling. You know, I I I don't know. Last time I played um, the actual game was like I think back in the Olympics. And it's been like a six, six months, seven months. So yeah, for sure, I missed it. Um, I was actually waiting for this moment. I really felt right today, so that's why I told, I talked to coach, and uh, yeah, he's, uh, I said I'm ready, you know, whenever. And yeah, that's why. I ready. What did you do when you were away from before you came back to the team? Um, mm-hmm. When you were taking time off, what were you focusing on? What were you doing? Uh, just the personal stuff. Um, I've been just, you know, I've been with the team. You know, I've been walking out. Uh, with the, one of the coaches, um, watching a lot of films, um, just just feel like you know, just being around the team and it feel good, you know. Um, but yeah, I just focus on myself and then the the team has been very helpful, you know. The coaches, Tommy, uh, Mister Rion says, you know, everybody's really supportive and uh, yeah, uh, I'm so happy to back me in the Is that the longest time you've been without that? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah, because I mean, I've been playing basketball since I was 13 and I was nonstop, you know, um, I don't know. It's like it's kind of hard to explain. But like in Japan, like we we don't have a season in basketball. Like we play basketball all year. So like it was it's different. You know, we don't I don't I never got it off or anything. And think about, you know, even the college, you know, I was a play national team. So summer, you know, I was a play basketball. And then this 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 year too. last year, you know, we. After the season, I went back to Japan and played the national team. So, yeah, it's been it's been it's been tough, you know. <laughs> but yeah, finally I kind of set it down and then yeah, um, get back on the post. So yeah, I'm so happy. Did you learn anything about yourself? Yeah, a lot of stuff for sure. You know, um, I was just you know, um, I really like you know I miss you know I miss the basketball. You know, I watched a lot of my highlights. You know, <laughs> I was going. You know, <laughs> Yeah, all highlights, you know, those kind of stuff. And uh, watch, of course, and watch these games. And, yeah, I just think, like, you know, I really I really like basketball. That's what, you know, I learned it. What do you think made you feel ready today? Say that again? You said that today you just felt ready. Mm-hmm. Why do you think today? I don't know. I just felt good. Um, uh, actually, I couldn't make the trip to Chicago. But I came to Orlando and... We played like a little three on three yesterday, and I really felt good. And you know, the weather's good here. Like you know, I just you know, <laughs> you know, this made me feel like okay, I think this is time. And I talked to Coach. Yeah. They were uh, 
Yeah, I, I've been, I've been, I've been fine. You know, I've been doing okay. You know, it's just like you know, it's a personal stuff. You know, I, I'm, I really not talk about it, but yeah, it's been, it's been great with the team. You know, they're already understanding. You know, um, my situation, and then, you know, I've been great with the, you know, this team. You know, I've been, I have a, we've been communicating. You know, um, since I got drafted, with especially with the Tommy. You know, he's been great with me, and then, yeah, I know we have a new coach, a new team, the teammates. I love them. You know. We we have a we we have a good group of guys, so you know, yeah. You know that nothing can replicate five on five against NBA level players. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you how do your conditions feel today? It was good, yeah. That's why that's the one of the two. Like yesterday, I played three on three. You know, it was a full call too. Like you know, I felt good. You know, um, play, play against uh against play those guys and uh, yeah, that was a that's why that's why. I, Felt like you know today was the day you know should get back on the court. Yeah, yeah. Chase. Hey Rui. Uh, first of all, good to see you. Welcome back. Um, Thank you. How did you feel out there? Did you feel um, rusty? Did you feel um, you know sharp? Uh, just kind of how did you feel playing you know 14 minutes of NBA basketball? I felt good. Um, it was actually. You know, I just got a question, but, you know, my condition is pretty good, you know. I'm in the shape, you know. I've been walking out with the team, and, uh, yeah, I miss the feeling, you know. I, I, keep, I, I been keep saying, but, like, you know, I just miss this feeling, you know, uh, especially uh, last time I was, you know, last year was, you know, we didn't have a fans and stuff. So, you know, this is almost like the first time I played in front of the fans, you know, since the uh, the COVID happened. So, yeah, it's it was good. And um, I understand, you know, it's it's personal reasons why you're out. But I think there's just a lot of fans wondering, you know, why you were out so long. Just kind of what would you tell fans uh, if, you know, who are asking about the absence that you had? No, I just needed I just needed to take off, you know, um, like I just expand, like, you know, I've been just going off crazy since I was a kid. And then, yeah, it's just like, a, you know, I just needed a time off. That's it. All right, we'll go ahead and transition to Zach, the Japanese portion. Okay, thanks, Matt. Hachimura Sensu, you're welcome. Thank you. 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 そうですね。あのまあ、ずっとまああのー、チームともずっと練習してましたし、えー、プレイヤーともいろいろこう話しながら僕もあのー、すごい早くコートに戻りたいなと思ってたので、今日こうやってコートに戻れてみんなでみんなとやれて本当に良かったです。この久しぶりの実戦がぶつけ本番という形でしたけど、そのあたりはいかがでしたか。まあ、あのー、まあ、ずっとチームとも練習してたので、そんなに別にあのー、そんな。何かって感じじゃなかったので、僕も昨日もあの三対三をチームとしてチームとチームのチームメイトとして結構あの気持ち気持ち的にも準備できてたので、今日プレーすごく決めました。今日は豪快なダンクを決めたり、ファールを誘ったり、キックアウトしたり、ペイント内で力を発揮しましたね。そうですね。あのまあチームとしてもあの今あのファイブファイブ面が結構いないので、その中で僕もあのそういうところで。稼ぐできたんじゃないかなと思います。あのチームメイトとも噛み合っていたように見えましたけど、どうですか？アンセルドコーチのシステムに慣れてきましたか？はい、あのー、まあ、チームもチームともずっと練習してきたので、あと僕もずっと試合ずっと見てたので、その中ではもう自分もそのやってる風に考えながらイメージをしながらずっとやってきてたので、その通りできたんじゃないかなと思いました。なるほど。え、僕からは最後になりますけど、八村選手にとってどんな NBA 三年目シーズンにしたいですか？まあ僕もこうあのプレーでスタートしたんですけど、まあそうこうやってまたバスケをできることをすごい僕も感謝してますし、えー、まあまずは本当にあのー、まあ自分もリズムを戻せるようにまずしっかりとチームにもなれながらあのー、そこから決めていきたいなと思います。はい、えー、ありがとうございます。ではズームの質問にいくつか行きます。えー、質問がある方レイズハンドボタンを押してください。えー、では山脇明子さんお願いします
あどうもお疲れ様です。勝利おめでとうございます。そして、はい、そしてお帰りなさい。<笑><笑>いはい。なんか笑顔が見れて、とても安心しました。よかったです。<笑>はい。あのー、まあ、あの、タイムオフが必要だったという話を先ほどされてましたけれども、その、まあ、タイムオフをしたことで、自分の中で再確認できたことだとか、あの、やっぱりその、やっぱりバスケが好きだなとか、そういったことっていうのはありますかそうですね。あの、僕も、あの、試合もずっと見てましたし、あの、チームともすごい早く戻りたかったので、そういう中では僕も、あの、もう時間をかけながら、あの、やってきたんですけど、そうですね。自分もこうやってバスケを、あの、続けられてすごい嬉しいですし、こうやってまたコートに戻れることもできて嬉しかったんですけど、まあその中でも僕もこうやって、あのー、バスケが本当に好きだなってことは再確認というか、改めて思いました、ね。あとまあ今朝フィールドライト、まあこういっていうふうに感じたって言っていましたけれども、それは今日今朝みたいに感じたのはずっと初めてですかそれとも以前にもちょっと感じていたけれども、まだいけないような感じだったっていう感じですかずっと僕も神戸だあの、コロナだったんで、ずっとそういうのもあって、<笑>はい。あと、風邪とかひいてたりしてたんで、まあ、その中では結構、あのー、体調崩したりしたとこもあったので、そこで、あのー、あまり試合にも、試合に持っていけるまでの体調にできなかったので、まあ、今回こうやって、あの、コロナ明けに、こうやって体調も良くなったので、そこで、ですかね。じゃコロナではなければ、そのヒート戦で復帰の可能性はあったっていう感じですかいや、そんな、あのー、ちそこまでいつ、いつで、いつ復帰とか決めてなかったので。あ、なるほど。はい。わかりました。すみません。ありがとうございます、はい。またこれからも頑張ってください。ありがとうございます。はい。では、スポーツライターの杉浦大輔さんお願いします。はい。お疲れ様です。八幡選手、お久しぶりです。はい。ありがとうございます。はい。えー、っと、あのー、まあ、これだけ、あのブランクが開くのって本当になかったことだと思うんですけど、久しぶりにコートに立って、あのシンプルに、まず最初にどういうふうに感じましたか、はい、あのこれだけブランクが開くこと、初めてだと思うんですけど、まあ、コートに久しぶりに立って、率直にどういったふうに、まず最初にどう感じましたか気持ちよかったですね、あの僕もこうやってバスケずっとしながっあの試合にしして、試合をしなかったの、こんなにしなかったのも、すごい今までないと思うので、その中では僕も自分でも。あのすごいバスケに欲しかったので、こうやってまた戻れて、本当に嬉しいです、はい、あと、第2クォーターからあの一気に積極性が出てきて、攻めるようになったと思うんですけど、なんていうか、自分でエンジンがかかったというか、スイッチが入ったというか、なんていうか、きっかけというか、理由というか、あったら教えてください、まあ、普通に自分でもこう試合戻ってきて、チームともこう初めてプレーするので、その中で、あのーまあ、こう感覚を戻すために、あのー今日,でき今日入ったので、その中ではその、まあ、タイミングがあの2交代でつかめたんじゃないかなと思いました。ありました、ありがとうございます。はいえー、では最後に柴田武さんお願いします。あ八村選手、こんにちは。お疲れ様です。ありがとうございます。あの、大変いい活躍だったと、短い時間ですが、良かったと思ってるんですけれども、あの、今日、インサイドはものすごくアグレッシブで、えっ、ー、と、コーチもそれを評価しているコメントをさっきしてましたが、えー、ミドルレンジ、アウトサイド、去年はミドルレンジが特に、あの、すごい武器になってたと思うんですけれど、これからなんかちょっとその、調整していくような必要があるのかなと思ってるんですけれど、その、ミドルレンジ、ロングレンジに関して、ご自分では、えー、今のところはどんなふうな感覚を持ってますかそうですね。あのー、まあ、そのミドルレンジとかそういうスリーとかはもう感覚だと思うので、もう感覚が、あのー、まあ、もう試合をやってるごとにこうリズムが、あのー、合ってくると思うので、そういうところでどんどんそこも入ってくるんじゃないかなと思うので、少しずつそこを合わせていきたいなと思います。あと、あのー、まあ、去年とは明らかにこう違う構成のチームになってて、えっ、ー、と、例えば今日なんかだと、クーズマ選手ものすごい活躍、あのしていたと思うんですけれども、そういう新しいすごい選手のその活躍っていうのはどんなふうにこう今刺激になってますか。そうですね。僕もあのー、彼とポジションが似ているので、その中であのー、もし練習中とかでもこうやっていろいろ話したり、それどういうふうにやっていくみたいなこともやって話してたので、そういうところでは、まあ、彼もこうやって僕のことをずっといろいろサポートしてくれて、こうやって一緒に彼ともプレーできて本当に嬉しいです。わかりました。ありがとうございます。頑張ってください。
はい、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。はい、以上です。八村選手、ありがとうございました。はい、ありがとうございます。Um, close. I had like 19 in high school.、Um, that was probably the closest I've ever been, though.、Mm-hmm. My,、well, I mean, I almost made us go to overtime because I just saw Brad block him and I fell asleep and、um, didn't realize how much time was on the clock. And he got the tip, and I was like, oh shit. And just block. I mean, almost we almost went to overtime, honestly. So, yeah, there's that. How do you describe you guys in the Sixers and Brad block? Because our last few questions, I guess, we had a closer. Is it just resilience a lot of the game? What do you think of that? Uh, I mean, same thing, resilience. Um, but I mean, we got to stop. Putting ourselves in these situations、uh, throughout games.、Um, it, you know, I feel like if we could just play consistently how we do in the clutch, we'd be such a great team. But um, um, it, I mean, it's unfortunate that we have to be in these t y p e of situations, honestly.、Uh, but at the same time, it's great that we can pull out wins like this. So, you know, it's like a, I don't know if this is the right analogy, but it's like a double edged bladed sword. Whatever it is, I don't know what the saying is, but、um, yeah, we got to do better for sure. But it's also great at the same time to have those t y p e of situations and for us to prevail in. So, you know, how hard it is to kind of manage everything over the course of a really long NBA season. How much does it take to just keep your eyes on the ball and just stay focused? How much does it take to stay that aggressive? Um, I mean, I'm just really locked in. I'm just really focused.、Um, I take care of my body.、Um, Every single day,、um, you know, got my own people working on me, use the team to work on me.、Uh, I get enough sleep. And、um, I got to just make sure my energy is right every single day、um, to come out and compete.、Um, you know, because, you know, we're trying to win. You know, we're not just punting the season away. You know, we've had some hiccups, but,、um, you know, for me, I know that, you know, I'm a big part of it and I got to be ready every single night. And, you know, That comes with being a leader, but also、uh, being a starter. And,、um, you know, it's important to me. So, you talked so much when you got here about the、like, FCC, about the type of role you wanted to have. Is this kind of what you're talking about, or do you feel like you're not all the way where you want to be? Or you're be、uh, this is an everyday process.、Um, you know, obviously, just defense and rebounding. That's what I talked about when I got here. And、um, I'm still trying to uphold that.、Um, you know, I've been taking on a little bit of a, a scoring. Mentality within that. And、um, I'm just trying to do it all.、Um, you know, I, I know what I'm kind of capable of.、Um, and, you know, I'm just I'm just here to try to win ball games, whatever that takes. So, so how good is it for you to be able to show off all the things you can do? You're kind of in a, in a smaller role before being able to, you know, show off the rebound and the defense and all the things that you're doing. I mean, it's great. You know, it feels great.、Um, You know, I, I credit a lot of my success this season to my past two years,、um, taking, a, taking a seat and,、um, you know, watching some great players play basketball and learning from them. And、um, I just knew once I got traded that、uh, it was just a golden opportunity for me to、um, just enhance my game and just show everything that one I've learned, but also what I'm capable of, you know,、uh, with opportunity. And、um, I'm just showing that right now. Uh, I'm, I'm ecstatic for him, honestly.、Um, you know, Rue's a great kid.、Um, you know, I've had an opportunity over the past couple of weeks to, you know, just talk with him a little bit more as he's been around and been integrated. And,、um, you know, I, I know basketball means a lot to him, but,、um, you know, mental health is, is very, very important too. So、uh, I'm just glad that he got his,、uh, his self in check. You know, that's first and foremost because he's a great person. And,、um, Yeah, you know, I'm just happy that you know, he can play the game that he's loved and played his entire life. So, Neil. 
Hey, Kuz, uh, along those lines, you know, you and Rui, somewhat, you know, similar type players. Is there anything that you guys try and, you know, basketball-wise try and throw off each other to improve each other's games? Uh, I, I mean, honestly, we haven't even got to that point. I haven't practiced at all. It's the first time I've ever played with them, and we played with each other. So, um, you know, that's just going to be, uh, you know, just chemistry building over game to game, day to day, um, you know, we, we do talk a lot off the court um, just from a couple of weeks that we kind of been together. So uh, that's clicking there, but uh, on the court, that's going to be a process that we continue to build over the next, you know, 41 games, 42 games. So. And I know you've told us before that, you know, rebounding for you, you want to try and contribute in every little way you play really hard. Has there been anything this year though, that, you know, Washington lost Westbrook, you know, that he was a big part of their rebounding last year. Has he, have you made a concerted effort to get more rebounds or is it just all happening in the flow of the game? Uh, I mean, I don't really care what happened last year. Um, you know, this is a new year. It's a new team. Um, you know, my biggest thing is when I rebound, just to play with pace, get up to court. Cause um, you know, we're a very dynamic team um, in transition, whether that's me pushing it or Brad having a ball, getting down court and uh, pushing the full head of steam. So, um, you know, my biggest thing right now is, you know, just playing with pace, playing up and down, because um, we're tough to tough to defend um, when we're in those situations, so. Thanks, Coos. Safe travels back. Yep. All right, that's all the time we got for Coos tonight. Uh, first praise, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, I don't really know. Uh, I think it was just kind of the flow of the game. We just – we started off pretty good. You know, they were energetic and they had a good rhythm. And uh, it's kind of like back and forth. I don't think either team were really too much defending or taking stuff away. Uh, you know, they kind of pulled away a little bit in the first half. And second half, T. Ross got going and started pulling away a little bit. We just – we stayed in the game. Uh, it was an ugly win, but, you know, we'll take it. Uh, Definitely agree with what Kuz said. We can't can't keep digging ourselves in these holes and think we can just cl keep climbing out. You know, we, granted, we did a good job tonight of doing that. Uh, but understanding, you know, we we have to be from start to finish a lot better. You know, um, and a lot more in tune on the defensive end more than anything. You know, offense always. You know, always my my biggest thing is shots are fall. You know, it's if we can control making shots, we make all of them. You know, I always say that, but. Um, for the most part, we can control our efforts on defense. Everybody, everybody. Oh, it was awesome, man. It was it was one. I seen him work out yesterday. We were all in the gym and just seeing him just get back into his flow, his routine. You know, it was, it was amazing. You know, it's, it's definitely uh, heartwarming uh, for him, one, and then two for the team. You know, that gives us it gives us uh, more versatility. You know, it's tough on coach's part because he has to figure out who he wants to play and what the rotations would be. But for the most part, us as a team, we felt great to have him back. We welcomed him with open arms. Um, we're happy he did it within his time, and he was very productive. So, uh, obviously, he needs to get his win back, but, you know, it was a good, it was a good first game for him. What is the answer to the situation? I don't know. It's still tough to tell. I mean, he only played one game. I don't even know how many minutes he played. Uh but the way we play, we can play small, we can play big. We play a lot of positionless basketball sometimes. So, you know, we, it doesn't matter where he is on the floor. And he understands that if he gets a rebound, he can push too. So, I mean, we, we play very free, very open. Uh, you know, like he had his opportunities. He went one-on-one -on -one a couple of times. Like he's he's aggressive, you know, and that's that's what we want him to do. He has the freedom to do so. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just a matter of us just obviously now implementing him now. You know, hopefully we'll get TV back soon. And we'll implement him back, get Trez back. You know, we're, we're still like a – we still haven't had our full team. You know, we still haven't played, you know, our full team yet. So, uh, it'll be an adjustment and a learning experience as, as well. Yeah. Oh, 22 rebounds. I think he's got double double five and five, six. Mm. He's done a smaller role before. How much of growth have you seen from him, you know, being able to show that he can do more? Uh, I mean, we, we challenge him to do that. He challenges himself to do it, uh, honestly. And I, I told him at the beginning of the year he should have a double-double every game. Uh, you know, that's just easy for his size, his athleticism, his ability to push. 
it'll make the game easy for him, for me, for everybody. You know, if he if he's that aggressive on the boards, and he need you know, Gaff needs help, Tres needs help. Um, you know, I'm only six three. There's only so much I can do in there. But for the most part, you know, Gaff and Coos, you know, they're going to find there and get the rebounds and push the ball. So, uh, you know, it's, it's always great to be able to see him, you know, on the boards and aggressive. I know he's in tune to the game when he's doing that. I I had <laughs> it was damn deja vu. That's what it was. I wasn't gonna let that shit happen twice. We've been getting game time the last week and a half. Uh 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 uh. I'm damn near fouled him too. So by any means, you <laughs> I refuse to let that shot go down. Especially as I just missed missed the dang on free throw. So yeah. Chase. Hey, hey, Brad. Um, what have you seen from from Rui? I mean, we only saw him for 14 minutes tonight. Obviously, year three is a young player. He could continue to get better. Just uh, what have you noticed from his game since you've been around him lately? I mean, he's only played one game, Chase. It's hard to tell off one game. Uh, but, you know, he's he seems himself. You know, he's aggressive. You know, he's taking his shots. Uh and obviously, he had you know, a limited amount of minutes tonight. But uh, you know, it's just gonna it's gonna be a work in progress with just getting him back into the rhythm, getting into the flow of the game, to our plays, our system. Uh, you know, kind of where his spots will be, and that's you know, I'm I play with him. You know, so it's gonna be getting cools, getting Spence, Pope, everybody else kind of used to, you know, how he plays and what he likes to do and uh, his tendencies. So. Uh, you know, I know what he's capable of, and I know he's a really special talent for us. You know, we've we've been waiting all year for it, you know, and uh, obviously, like I said before, it's within his time, and we're happy that we got him back. Neil. Hey, Brad. Um, what do you think just, you know, changing that first quarter? You guys got up 13-3, and then Orlando, you know, went on that 23-4 run. Yeah, I mean, they, they just picked up their, their aggression. You know, it's a game of runs. We're going to go on the run. Other teams are going to go on the run. And, uh, I think they just picked up their aggression a little bit. A little bit. Uh, I think we were turning the ball over a lot. We started turning the ball over, uh, you know, quite a lot. And it just led to them getting open shots, transition, layups, and stuff like that. And, uh, that's more or less what hurt us, you know, than, you know, T. Ross getting going in the second half. You know, that, that hurt us too, so. Uh, you know, we did a better job late in the game or late in the third on the fourth of just, you know, maintaining and sustaining those runs. Uh, but I mean, it's the NBA. You respect every opponent. Uh, you respect this team. You know, you don't, you don't disrespect them like they just came out and, you know, they can't play ball. Like they're, they're pros just like us. And out of curiosity, is that why not shirt, um, from Russ's collection? Oh. Damn. See the logo. Yeah, Sarsky. Gotcha. Thanks, Brad. Hey, Charles, the back. Oh, man. Last question to Christos. Hey, Brad, congratulations on the win, first of all. You call it the ugly win. So how useful are those wins for you guys? Uh, I mean, a win, like we said, a win is a win. You take it, even if it's ugly. Uh, we've had a few this year, and that's it's good and bad, you know, because you want to try to eliminate those bad habits that, you know, we, we kind of have at times. And, uh, you know, you more or less want to be able to create a rhythm, create some consistency, you know, going into every game to where you have a flow, you have, you know, ways of how you win, you know, as a team. And uh, with us constantly adding guys back, you know, it's it's, it's going to be an adjustment. You know, it's, it's not going to be um, picture perfect every time. You know, I can guarantee that, you know, it's, it's still a lot of us, we're going to be learning on the fly. Um, especially when we're we're adding guys back, you know, viable pieces to our team. So from one side of the spectrum, it's great to have everybody healthy, but we also know we still got our work cut out, you know. So uh, it's a good win tonight. We'll see them in a few days, but, you know, we we still got to keep chipping. And also, speaking about Kyle's performance, what impressed you most, not only about his attitude on the, attitude on the floor, but also about his whole effort on both ends? Who? Kyle Kuzma. Oh, uh, well, Kuz is, he was locked in. You know, we've, we've, we need to turn it around. You know, we need to win some games. We need to get back feeling better about ourselves. 
um, create a rhythm, create a flow. And uh, he was doing that. He led us tonight. You know, he was very aggressive on the boards. Uh, you know, when he's doing that, you know, that gets us out in the transition faster because uh, he's able to push. He's able to look ahead and, you know, pass ahead or be aggressive and take it to the hoop. Uh, you know, so it's, it's, it's always great, you know, to be able to see him engage, locked in, blocking shots, helping on defense. Uh, then ultimately rebounding, you know, then on top of that, he's very efficient tonight too. So uh, hats off to him, you know, for the way he played, but we obviously, we're going to need more. We need more from him, from me, from everybody. So uh, we just got to continue to build on our consistency. Thank you very much. Keep up. All right, Brad. Appreciate your time.